The cell membrane is the outermost layer of the cell, and its purpose is to provide the cell with protection and control what enters and leaves the cell using proteins and carbohydrates to determine if a particle can enter or leave. The cell membrane is made up of phospholipids, whose tails avoid water, thus making them form the way they do in two rows, tails facing in, forming the membrane. The cytoskeleton supports the cell and gives it its shape. It is also used as a monorail by motor proteins to move materials throughout the cell. The mitochondria create energy to power the cell. The fact that these organelles have a double membrane in their own DNA has led to the belief that mitochondrion were once free living. The Golgi apparatus are sac-like membranes used for storing, packaging, modifying, and exporting chemicals. Lysosomes, which are produced by Golgi bodies, contain digestive enzymes to destroy unwanted particles and aid white blood cells in destroying bacteria. They can also enact cell suicide, which is more properly called apoptosis. The endoplasmic reticulum is a series of membranous tubes immediately outside the nucleus, which makes proteins for export outside of the cell. Ribosomes, which may be free in the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, create proteins either for export or internal use by the cell. Chromatin is a complex of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, and proteins that condense to form a chromosome during cell division. Found in the cell nucleus, it packages DNA into a smaller volume to fit in the new cell. It also strengthens the DNA to allow mitosis, which is cell division. The nuclear envelope is a double-layered membrane that protects the nucleus of the cell and controls what enters and exits the nucleus. At the center of the cell, the nucleus controls the cell's genetic information and directs many of the activities within the cell. The cytoplasm is a solution of salt and other nutrients called cytosol, which holds all of the organelles within a cell.